few days ago, my girlfriend and I celebrated our two year anniversary. Well, let me tell you, it was pretty lit. We were on top of the CN Tower, we were having dinner, and it was like this rotating tower where you're having dinner, you're on top of the tower, and it's rotating at the same time. So when you're looking out the window, you see the city kind of going by you. Anyways, it was an amazing time. And so since we celebrated two years, I was reflecting on this past couple years, what sort of mindset shifts have helped me in this relationship. So if you're a guy looking to get into a relationship with a girl, but you're not sure really how to go about it, or maybe you're a girl and you're trying to get in a relationship with a guy, but he doesn't seem to be moving things along, he's kind of wishy-washy, then you're gonna have you're gonna love what I have to say. But you see, as a guy, you're the leader in the relationship. You move the relationship through the different stages, whether that's asking her out, uh, declaring her your girlfriend, proposing, meeting her parents. You are consciously and intentionally the person, the leader in the relationship to move things forward. That's part of the masculine energy. And girls like that. That's why they say things like. I like a guy who knows what he wants and goes after it. And so a guy displaying this sort of masculine energy is very attractive to the girl. And when, when you think about it, you know, when you're asking her out on a date, meeting her parents, proposing and doing these things, what you're really doing is sort of claiming her as yours. You're basically saying, this is my girl, she is mine. Everyone look at my girl, I'm proud to have her as my girl. She is mine and you're sort of claiming her in a way, hence the name claim her energy. So what does this claim her energy look like in practice when you're in a relationship? It means actually walking up to a girl and being like, yo, I like you and I want to take you on a date because I would love to build a relationship with you. You want to go on a date with me? Saying that instead of being wishy-washy, DMing her here and there and then asking to be friends and then slowly you hang out and then eventually you ask her out, all these games you're trying to play, no, none of that. You cut through the bullshit and you go straight in and you're like, hey, I like you and I wanna be in a relationship with you. You in? Another example is simply just posting pictures of you and her on your social media, telling the world, yo, this is my girl, right? Claiming her in front of all your friends. Another example is, let's say you're in a relationship and you haven't met her parents yet. If you're operating with claim her energy, you wanna move things forward and claim her as yours. And so what that looks like is setting up a dinner between you and her parents, introducing yourself for the first time, because again, you're claiming her as yours. You're trying to move things forward and you're doing all this without her asking for you to do such a thing. And so when you start operating with this claim her energy, she'll feel a lot more comfortable, a lot more safer, a lot more secure around you because you're not trying to play games. You're not being wishy-washy. She's not confused about the relationship. And because of that, she's more willing to give her best self to you. And what's interesting is the more I started operating from this mindset, the more I noticed I showed up as a leader in my relationship, I showed up more confidently. I had this like fire, go get him energy to me. And so I would cook more often, I would do a lot more sweeter things. I would uh, make sure she's taken care of, I would make sure I get involved with family, like all these different things. I started feeling very masculine, very, very manly. And what's interesting is once I started doing these things, I noticed my girlfriend was also being very sweet to me in return, like it reciprocated to me. I was like, wow, this is kind of interesting. So when I act this way, she's very loving and cutesy and, and appreciative of me. And, and the whole reason why I'm making this video is because I've had some conversations recently where I'm talking with like a relative of mine and they're trying to like introduce themselves to their girlfriend's parents. And they were like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pretend to be a friend and then I'm gonna drop her off and then slowly I'm gonna catch a glimpse of their parents quickly do a quick wave hi and then drive away and, and do this freaking convoluted plan. It, it, it just made him sound like a, like a weak, mm, you know what I'm gonna say, right? And so I told him like, yo, listen, if you really wanna meet her parents, first of all, the fact that she asked, she told you to do it, I feel like that's already your five steps behind. But what you really need to do is be the proactive leader in the relationship and literally schedule a dinner out with her parents without her asking you. 
what that will do is your girlfriend is gonna look at you and be like, wow, you do this without me asking you? Wow, you're, you're really claiming me as yours and you're not hiding the fact that I'm yours? Wow, you're actually moving the relationship forward? Wow, you seem so courageous to have done this by yourself and meet my parents, which is a big thing, but you're doing this, wow, I admire you, right? And she's gonna feel a lot more secure and inspired by you. But anyways, think about it. Claim her energy. Are you operating with claim her energy? And if you're a girl, is your partner operating with claim her energy? Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this, subscribe for more, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one. Peace, peace, peace.